What's going on fellow hunters? Welcome back to the channel. The community over here is getting larger and larger every single day. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do a 500 sub giveaway and it's going to be a good one. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now and hit that notification bell. So that way when I go ahead and I drop that giveaway video, you're not going to miss it. So I see this question a lot on forums and on Facebook and things like that, and that's how do you actually get your rappel line back out of the tree? Um, and I also, I picked a tree that has a Y up at the top so I can go ahead and get my rope up into that Y so then I can go ahead and show you how you would get it over limbs and things like that. So I just wanna go over a couple of things real quick. Like uh, everybody's system's just a little bit different, um, but this is how I have my system set up. You don't necessarily have to have everything that I have um, in order to get this done, but this is just kind of how I've done it. This seems like it's the most streamlined for me. So my whole system, I've got it pretty purposefully built to kind of do exactly what I want. So at first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this on ground level. So that way I can kind of show you exactly what's going on up there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and climb up about 25, 30 feet I'm gonna go ahead and do it again, but we'll be on the ground when I go ahead and show you this time. All right, so I'm just at ground level, but I kind of want to show you what you'll be doing um, when you're up in the air, so that way you kind of know what's going on. So right now, I'm hanging off of nine millimeter Canyon Camo Elite, and then on the end, I've got a scaffold knot, I've got a Delta Quick Link, I'm sitting on a Mad Rock, I have a Petzl Oval Beaner, and I'm in a TX5 Custom Gear Saddle. All right, so kind of a couple key things to this is definitely going to be um, this flexi-ohm. Now right here, right here on the flexi-ohm is a little loop. So right here at the end, by the 3D printed piece, there's that little loop. That's where you're going to want to clip that, uh, the bow pull-up rope or your rappel retrieval line, because that's going to go ahead and that's going to be very key as far as my system goes. Um, if you don't have this, it's okay. You can go ahead and I would hook up right behind the knot is what I would do. Uh, I'd hook up right there so that way I could leverage the knot away from the tree and get this to fall. So kind of the way this is supposed to work is you, you go ahead and you've got your, your bow pull down or your bow, your bow pull up rope or your rappel retrieval. I've got 40 foot of Dynaglide and this is kind of key as well. Um, you can use paracord, but you're only going to do it a couple of times before you realize real quick that it stretches and it's super annoying. So we go ahead and we throw our line down and then we go ahead and clip this in that loop that's on the flexi ohm. And then I'll kind of show you uh, here in a second what's going to happen once we rappel down. So at this point, we'll go ahead and we're clear to rappel, right? So we'll rappel down out of the tree. Okay, so now we're down on the ground. All right, so then once we get to the bottom of the rappel, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and disconnect yourself. Go ahead and disconnect your bridge from the carabiner. Remove your carabiner from the mad rock. Remove your mad rock from the line. You can go ahead and just store that on your side for now. Um, another key piece to this whole system, of course I've got 40 foot of rope sitting here and I'm five feet off the ground. All right. I got 40 foot of rope sitting here and it's only five feet off the ground. So a key part of this is the fact that there is no stopper knot in this rope. All right, so this will allow it to be free and clear. It'll, it won't get caught in any kind of V's of trees or any kind of crotches or anything like that. So kind of what's going on now is once we're on the ground, we'll kind of make sure that our ropes are nice and straight. And when, when we pull this, I'll show you, I'll let me pull in real close. When I pull this from the ground, it's gonna go ahead and pull the flexi ohm off of the line. All right, so that's how you go ahead and get that off of there. Now, if you were, if you were using a gear tie or something, you're gonna need to remember to take that off before you come down. Otherwise, you're climbing right back up to go ahead and take that off. Once you've pulled the flexi ohm off using your rope, uh, that was the tether keeper. So really kind of all you're doing from there is just pulling and it will allow your rope to fall down. 
and that's how you get your rope out of the tree. Now it can be a little more difficult if it's a uh, rough bark tree or if, for example, it's in the crotch of a tree. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna climb all the way up there. I'm gonna put this rope up in the crotch of that tree. I'm gonna rappel back down and then I'm gonna show you kind of how you get it down. Okay, so I've got this rope about 25 feet in the air. Um, once we go ahead and start this process, I'll go ahead and grab the camera. I'll point it up there and just kind of show you where we're gonna get this rope from. So like I said, we're gonna to have to disconnect ourselves. We've got our 40 foot of Dynaglide up there clipped to the back side of that Flexiome. And we're on our 40 foot of Canyon Camo Elite. So we're on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect. Move the, remove the carabiner from the Mad Rock. Take the Mad Rock off of the rope. Go ahead and just clip this out of the way. So now that gives us that free and clear rope. And then we also have our pull down rope. So let me, let me show you where this rope's at. So we have our rope way up there behind that limb. All right, so we got, we got our rope up behind that limb about 25 feet in the air. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten our ropes out. We'll go ahead and pull down. I'll go ahead and point it up in the air, kind of try to show you what's going on. So you just keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And you just keep Keep pulling your rope until you can go ahead and get a hold of this end. Here's your tail end, which is going to pass right through the crotch of that tree. It's going to come down and almost hit us in the head. And we can go ahead and wrap up. So thank you for coming out here with me today and checking out how to remove your rappel rope from a tree. I hope this helps you out in this upcoming deer season. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Down in the description box below is my Facebook, my Instagram, my email. Go ahead and hit me up. Send me a friend request, whatever you want to do.